in a country called Spain, in a city called Barcelona, in the area of Pablo Nau, in the Cai Tengur, at number 162, on the second floor, in apartment three, lives a 12-year-old boy by the name of Victor Monguet. His mother is called Isabel. Hola. His father is called Jordi. His brother is called Alex. Sorry, Alex. His grandmother is called Isabel Elena Oloriz. Victor's favorite places in the city are the beach, the Olympic port, and his own neighborhood, Pablo Nau. Victor really hates getting sunburned, chickpeas, and chickpeas. Victor really likes the sky, marshmallows, a red truck driving in the snow, cycling, and asking his father difficult questions. But most important, Victor is completely crazy about football. Victor plays in the morning. Victor plays in the afternoon. Victor plays in the evening. And during the moments he isn't playing, he is sitting 20 centimeters from the TV screen to follow the only team in the world that is good enough for Victor to support, FC Barcelona. Victor's day starts at 7.30 in the morning with a cup of chocolate muesli. He has breakfast alone because his brother wakes up later and his father eats at work. At 8.20, Victor is picked up by two friends, Paco and Tony. They walk seven minutes and 30 seconds to the Salvador Espriu School, where Victor goes to secondary school in Class C with 34 other children. Every day, the school director Carlos Mato checks personally if Victor and the rest of the children are on time. What we forgot to tell you so far is that Victor is practically blind. Victor has a vision of 0.08%, which is, as you might have guessed, hardly anything. When Victor was born, the doctors were convinced he was completely blind. But slowly, Isabel, his mother, discovered he could see something. Here's Isabel explaining that Victor can only see some movements of shadows and lighter objects in front of him, nothing at all from the sides. And here's Victor's father, Jordi, showing us how much Victor can actually see. These glasses were specially prepared by ONZA, the Spanish Blind Association, to show people like us what 0.8% vision means. According to Isabel, most people don't use their eyes very well, but Victor uses his completely. By the way, the glasses Victor is wearing once in a while are not helping him to see better. They just help his eyes relax. With his 0.08 vision, Victor sees the world in a different way to most people. And who knows, maybe he sees more than we do. After school, Victor studies for an hour. He loves to read and write. Victor thinks Braille is something for blind people. When he finishes his homework, 
Victor travels the world. It's part of a family tradition. His great-grandfather sailed the seas. His grandfather did. His father works with boats. And Victor, too, likes the idea of seeing more of the world. There's so much to discover. At night, Victor dreams about FC Barcelona, and most of the time, about his favorite player, the Swedish striker, Henrik Larsson. One day, he hopes to meet him and play together for a while. This is Victor's dream. On Saturday, Victor hangs out with other stars. Marc Benitez, the best goalkeeper around. Bernabe, Begona, Sergid, Carlos, and Fed. Victor plays at the football pitch of Onza with his teammates. Victor hates it when there's too much sun on the pitch and when his mates fight during a match. Victor loves it when he defends really well. And scores a goal himself. On Sunday, Victor goes to a different neighborhood to play football. Football and football. And he isn't satisfied till he scores. And a few hours later, Victor plays the game again and again with his eyes closed. He sees everything that his head imagines. The most beautiful passes, tricks, goals and balls. For all of us, it's difficult to imagine what Victor sees. According to the medical world, you can't do much with 0.08% vision. You can't run. You can't play football. You can't go to a normal school. You can't write. You can't ride a bicycle. You can't read normal books. You can't watch TV. You can't play PlayStation. You can't travel the world. You can't study anthropology. You can't become the president of Spain. You can't travel to another planet. And you can't score a goal in the stadium of FC Barcelona, now Comp. <laughs> 